Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do my 11, top 11 shoes of 2011. And this was kind of a good shoe year for me. <laughs> I don't know what, I kind of got more into shoes. I think now that my children are getting older, I've just, you know, I can just now get back into the high heels and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so I just really got some good shoes. So they are in no particular order. I just kind of grabbed them all and brought them out here. And I see that that sun is kind of, here, maybe if I, I'll back up some. Okay, maybe that'll help. And I've just got on a very casual outfit today because I'm just doing this video and going to the grocery store and the post office. So I wanted to be cozy. Um, first and foremost, I just got these yesterday in the mail and it's so funny i ordered these after i got home from picking up will at school on the day before yesterday so i guess tuesday and they were here when we got home from picking him up from school yesterday and it's just a new pair of javianas and my favorite are just the solid black i've had matter of fact i've got silver on <laughs> right now before i put my real shoes on and i've had you know all the ones with the designs and everything and i always these are always the ones I love, and these just look good. They look good with yoga pants. They look good with jeans. I don't know, it's the simplicity of them that makes them look good because when the last ones I had kind of had a blowout where this comes out, and that does happen after you've worn them for a while. Sometimes you may just just trip or something and something pulls them out. That's usually what happens. But um, they're only 20, I think they were $24 or something like that. But I did wanna make sure I told you because I've already ordered one pair of these thinking I was getting my size and it ended up being the size down, which I just gave to Brooke. But these, for a size eight foot, get the 3940. I believe, and it says USA 78, um, because I believe it's listed wrong on Zappos site or it's very confusing. So just make sure if you have a size eight that you get a 3940. And you can always see the size right there on that little thing. So, love these. These are my favorite of all time flip-flops. And I'm just going to do them how I have them stacked here. This is a pair of Jessica Simpson shoes that I just loved so much last year. They're so comfortable. They are the Jimmy Sesame Sahara. And they look like this. And I can't wait to wear them again. I ended up getting the black. It's like a black patent with the... It's got like a brown woven basket kind of looking sole, but these are the best. I just love that striped heel and it's even like textured. And um, I get so many compliments when I wear these and they are so comfortable. You can see how it just, how they're kind of scooped out and they just cradle your foot. And they just, the way this comes up high, when you get a shoe that slip, it's a slip on like this, make sure you get one where this comes up a little bit higher on your foot and sorry and that way the back won't just flip 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 the whole time i mean i have had them I always call them barbie shoes the ones that just have a small little thing right here but those aren't as comfortable these are the ones that you want to wear um or that you want to get that are easier to wear and i just love these and you may i just got them last year so you may still be able to find them you know on just google it and you know a lot of times those sites like endless and stuff like that 6 p.m a lot of those sites like that will have the older shoes too. Okay, these are my most, one of my most special pair of shoes. And one of my subscribers, Melissa, and I believe it's Sophisto Miss, found these. First of all, Crystal from Crystal Lynn here on YouTube found them. And then um, Melissa found them. And I had just bought the original Stuart Weitzman shoes like this. And it's the Stuart Weitzman... I cannot remember what the style name is now, but it's the, the ones Jennifer Aniston made famous. And they wrap up your ankle like this. And I bought the ones that were, they were over $300. And Melissa found these for me at Ross for $25, and they're 9 West. And I have no idea what the style name is on these because you don't get a box with these. And sent them to me, and I was able to return my others which the others I had bought eight and a half and they really didn't fit good anyway and they didn't have the eight there. These are eights and you really have to, when you get a heel like this, you have to make sure it fits the curve of your foot really well. 
and if you get one that's too big this your foot kind of gets off of this little curve and it makes them very uncomfortable so just make sure that these fit and you can tell i wore the heck out of these look at those stuff print that's embarrassing but i did put the gel pads in them and i just wore these just non-stop last year and i plan on wearing them again and i'll be honest with you if they wear out and i can't find another pair that fit well I would pay the money for the original Stuart Weitzman because I enjoyed these shoes so much and I might even get the black ones this year. But um, I just thank you so much, Melissa, for getting these for me. She said she got a pair too and wore them a lot. So love these and okay. can't wait to wear them again. That may be all for like the true sandals. Of course, I had lots of sandals. There, there's a couple more in here that I wore in the summertime. So, matter of fact, let me this put these another up and pair. Right. I have not worn these enough because it has just gotten cold here. This week has been so cold, it really kind of shocked us. <laughs> so we had to get out our. You've noticed I've been wearing my sweaters and stuff like that, and we had to get out jo John and Will and Brooke. We just got Brooke's big coat out yesterday because we've been able to just wear sweatshirts or practically John's been wearing nothing to work. So um, I'll probably get to wear these more now that it's getting cooler. But these are the lucky boots that I got. And I just love these. I just love the simplicity of them. I love that they're kind of, they're simple and they're still kind of, I hate to say rugged. But you know what I mean? You know, see how they get kind of like scratches. They're not um, real dressy. But yet they're very simple. They have a good size heel. This fits real, um, you know, real close to your calf. It's not real big, and um, I just love them. They look really good. Matter of fact, the first time I saw them was on Rachel, a girl that works, cuts hair where I get my hair cut, and she had them on with a navy blue skirt, and it just looked, and I believe she had on navy blue hose, and it looked so pretty. So I asked her, and I went and got some. Actually, I think I had to order them because no one around here sold these, and these are Lucky, and I'm sure that the name will probably be right here. Yeah, Maddie. And I got a size eight, so they must run true to These size. These are just like some that I found, and I was so tickled with them, and they're, they were very inexpensive. They were Franco, or they are Franco Fortini, which I got at Rack Room. And I know, um, I think Rack Rooms are pretty much everywhere. I know that's a chain. And we have two of them. We have one in the mall and one at our shopping center. And we were actually in there. You know, they always have that sale, buy one, get one half or something. And we were in there looking for Brooke some shoes, and I saw these. Actually, John saw them, and I tried them on and loved them. They are just the, and they're dirty. You can tell I've been wearing them. Um, they are so comfortable and so sexy. And I know you get tired of me using that word, but that's just that's just the best way I can describe it. And they zip up the back. Looks like they don't want to zip up right now. There we go. And um, I just love them. They look so good on and they are incredibly comfortable for how they look. They have a good platform and the heel is really not that, it is high, but it just doesn't feel high when you put it on. So I got these, I loved them so much. I went back and got the black ones also. And I love both of them, but I really like these. I'm a sucker for tan and cream colored shoes. I always have been and white shoes. But I really like these, and um, you could re really wear these all year round here, a place like this that's not um, freezing cold or snowy. And um, they were only, I believe, twenty-five dollars, twenty-four ninety-eight, and they do have le their leather. So anyway, that was like my good here find. Is the name <laughs> of those? They were Greta, and I got an eight, and it says fifty-four ninety-nine, but I believe they were on sale for twenty-four ninety-nine when I got them. You guys will remember me getting these. These are the Antonio Milani, and I have not worn these enough. They are just beautiful shoes. These are the kind of shoes that just make me happy when I look at them. They are just a little booty or shooty, however you wanna, a lot of people say shooty, because it's like a shoot and a boot. And let's see, the name of these is, oh, Taya, and the color is rice. And I got a size eight, and you can see I got them on sale for $50 at Dillard's. And I do believe they still have them. And they are just so pretty. They are the prettiest shoes. These look good with like skinny jeans, um, especially the cropped skinny jeans. And they also look good with a dress. I love wearing shoes like this with a sweater dress. 
they just add so much to it. And I love the ruching and the peep toe. And I just I'm sure these. these will come as no surprise. These have been my like saviors this year. And it is the Nine West. And I believe they're called, yeah, it's called Esmeralda right there. And they are um, regular size eight. Nine West has a pretty generous shoe size. I, I never wear an eight and a half in a Nine West. This is the black. And this is the brown. And I have to say, I have really enjoyed the brown. It has just a pretty zipper on the inside. The brown is just a gorgeous color. Very, very dark. And I also have the black suede. And I have not even worn those yet, but I got them at such a good deal. I believe they were 60% off when I got them. And I ended up getting them for right at, in between 50 and $60. And they are so, so comfortable for the height. And everybody that has gotten them and it told me has loved them. So I really recommend if they have these left to I get a pair. They are timeless. Think, and the only thing that may happen is if the boots come in style with a chunk of your heel, just put these in the back of your closet because these will come back in style before you know it. And um, they're just really, really comfortable. So love these. And these have been a these savior These would this probably year. be one of the top, if I had to pick the top five, these would be in the top five. And I hesitate to show, the, show you these because they're hard to find. One of my subscribers found them one time on a, gosh, a website I had never even heard of and I cannot remember what it is now. So if you're watching, if you will leave that in the comments again, I put the link on one of my channels and now I can't, or one of my videos and now I can't remember, but it is the Sigerson Morrison Bell. And Sigerson Morrison is a brand of shoes and I believe Bell is a, like a, a branch of that, or what am I trying to say? You know what I mean, probably a less expensive line of that brand. And I absolutely love these. And I was lucky enough to get these at Oliver, the boutique that I love on sale. And they were, even on sale, they were still over $100, but they're expensive shoes. I mean, I think they're over 200 or something like that. And I love them, they're just perfect. I get so many compliments when I wear these and they're comfortable. So, um, and you can see I have the toe pads in these too. I have the leopard ones, I think. Not leopard, but um, they're like tiger print <laughs> in there. So, love those. And if you can, get them. Try to. And let's see if I can give you the... Here is the... See, the sale price was $174. The regular price was $209. And it looks like Zuma was the um, style name. Now another pair, and this will become as no surprise, are the latest ones I've gotten from Gianni Beanie. And I just love that box. I don't know what it is. I just love it. These are the gray. These are the first ones that I got. They are just fabulous shoes. They just make any outfit. If you just invest in a few pair, like at the beginning of the season, especially in the wintertime when you know you're wearing jeans a lot, get a pair, like, three, four, five pair of just awesome shoes that are just statement shoes. And then you can wear jeans and a t-shirt or a plain sweater or something almost every day and you feel dressed up. This and just a little bit of jewelry. I have just enjoyed these so much and it's neat. They, you put them on and they zip up the front. And I might wear these. I don't know if I'll wear these or black ones today, but um, I have just loved them. I love the way they're kind of worn looking and all the different From texture. Size, I got an eight and they are called, looks like Ramona Astro Gray is that color. And they were on sale for $79.99 at Dillard's. And online they even have brown, which I'm tempted to get because I have enjoyed these shoes so much. And I have to say, a lot of people ask me, you know, what are some of John's favorite things? Well, these shoes, he loves these shoes. Whenever I wear them, they are on the black. Me. And they're just wonderful. I love the way they're open toe. And you don't even have to like zip them up all the way. Because a lot of people, I've read reviews that this was kind of tight on some people's feet. Like if you're, I don't know, if your arch is higher or something. But you can, like a lot of times when I'm in the car, I'll zip them down just because of the way my foot's bending, it gets kind of tight. So, I just love these. I think anybody would love these. Even if you think these are just a little out there for you, just try it because they're so comfortable and I really think that you would enjoy them. And last but not least are my fry boots that I just got. These boots have just tickled me to death because they are just perfect. I feel like I will never need to buy a pair of 
brown boots again because between these and my lucky boots I feel like they're both pretty timeless and both of them are so comfortable and I just love the way they look and they are just so I'm so I'm excited that I went ahead on. and got them and they're just when you get them you feel like you have been already been wearing them for years because they're so comfortable and already broken in and these are just absolutely nothing like the other ones that I got which were just a different slightly different style but those were so hard when I put my foot in them I was really gonna have to break those in when these already feel like they're broken in so love these and they come in all different neat colors like gray sand would be the next color I'd get and then there's um, there's all kinds of neat colors that you can get a taupe color and of course black but I really like this dark brown I would suggest this being maybe your first pair so I think that's it. I am going to get out of here. I'm gonna do a quick non-eventful outfit of the day yeah, and let you guys one go. Of these sweaters and that you guys see all the time. I have in black, gray, and cream, and a couple other colors. And these are just great to have for days like today. This is just like a graphic t-shirt I got at Old Navy. I just love the colors and the design. Um, regular below the belt. Um, these are some cargo pants that I got on sale a few months ago. Um, and they are seven for all mankind. And I'm and to put up gray shoes today. You can see that the pants have the zipper on the inside. And that is it. So just a casual outfit. Comfortable, but still just something a little interesting. And for accessories today, I have on these earrings, which are, I believe, Jessica Simpson. I always love her earrings. They're always so pretty. And if you, I know it belts, if you wait, they go on sale a lot. And um, let's see. My St. Kilda's Love Ring, the wrap bracelet, and I believe, I can't remember, I always forget her name, Farah Karina, I think is her name, and um, the little bracelets that I got, <laughs> that was Bridget. She's She knows I'm leaving, so she's whining. What's wrong? So these little bracelets that I have enjoyed so much off of Etsy, um, my aluminum champagne watch, and my nails, I forgot to tell you guys that I did go get my nails redone. Taking them off was a breeze. I just, while I was getting my pedicure, they had me soak like right at the end, just like right while he painted them. And when I took my fingers out of the, I guess it's acetone, the nail polish had just curled right up. So, you know, I was kind of, when I heard that you have to scrape it off, I was kind of sketchy about that because I didn't want my nails scraped up. But they just... They scrape it off, but just with like that same thing that they, you know, you push your cuticles back with. It's not like they have to drill it or anything like that. And it came right off. And I got this color, which is a brand called Harmony, which is another gel okay, polish. I must apologize to her. She had to go outside. So, let's see. Um, bracelet, earrings, ring. Oh, we were talking about my nail polish. It is a brand called Harmony. And the guy that does my nails said it was a little bit um, not quite as harsh as the OPI gel or shellac type nails. And, um, that this, so I picked this color and I, I put it in my description yesterday. So hopefully I'll be able to find it and put it down here. I forgot the color. I think it might be Midnight Affair or something like that. So, and I guess that's it. No necklace or anything. So I'm going to go run some errands and I will see you here tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.